Question 88.17. Questioner, I will make this statement as to my understanding of some of the archetypes and let you correct this statement. It seems to me that the significators of mind, body, and spirit are acted upon in each of these by the catalyst. This produces experience which then leads to the transformation and produces the great way. This is the same process for the mind, the body, and spirit. The archetypes are just repeated but act in a different way as catalyst because of the differences of mind, body, and spirit and produce a different type of experience for each because of the difference in the three. The transformation is slightly different. The great way is somewhat different but the archetypes are all basically doing the same thing. They are just acting on three different portions of the mind, body, spirit complex so that we can say that in making the significator a complex basically we have provided a way for catalyst to create the transformation more efficiently. Would you correct that statement, please? Answer, I am Ra. In your statement correctness is so platted up with tendrils of the most fundamental misunderstanding that correction of your statement is difficult. We shall make comments and from these comments request that you allow possible realignment of conceptualization to occur. The archetypical mind is a great and fundamental portion of the mind complex, one of its most basic elements and one of the richest sources of information for the seeker of the one infinite creator. To attempt to condense the archetypes is to make an erroneous attempt. Each archetype is a significant ding and sitch, all thing in itself, with its own complex of concepts. While it is informative to survey the relationships of one archetype to another it can be said that this line of inquiry is secondary to the discovery of the purest gestalt or vision or melody which each archetype signifies to both the intellectual and intuitive mind. The significators of mind, body, and spirit complexes are complex in and of themselves, and the archetypes of catalyst, experience, transformation, and the great way are most fruitfully viewed as independent complexes which have their own melodies with which they may inform the mind of its nature. We ask that you consider that the archetypical mind informs those thoughts which then may have bearing upon the mind, the body, or the spirit. The archetypes do not have a direct linkage to body or spirit. All must be drawn up through the higher levels of the subconscious mind to the conscious mind and thence they may flee whither they have been bidden to go. When used in a controlled way they are most helpful. Rather than continue beyond the boundaries of your prior statement we would appreciate the opportunity for your re-questioning at this time so that we may answer you more precisely. Question 88.18 Questioner, did Ra use cards similar to the Tarot cards for training in third density? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 88.19 Questioner, what did Ra use in third density? Answer, I am Ra. You are aware in your attempts at magical visualization of the mental configuration of sometimes rather complex visualizations. These are mental and drawn with the mind. Another example well known in your culture is the visualization, in your mass, of the distortion of the love of the one infinite creator called Christianity wherein a small portion of your foodstuffs is seen to be a mentally configured but entirely real man, the man known to you as Jehoshua or, as you call this entity now, Jesus. It was by this method of sustained visualization over a period of training that we worked with these concepts. These concepts were occasionally drawn. However, the concept of one visualization per card was not thought of by us. Question 88.20 Questioner, how did the teacher relay information to the student in respect to visualization? Answer, I am Ra. The process was Kabbalistic, that is, of the oral tradition of mouth to ear. Question 88.21 Questioner, then when Ra attempted to teach the Egyptians the concept of the Terot, was the same process used or a different one? Answer, I am Ra. The same process was used. However, those which were teach learners after us first drew these images to the best of their ability within the place of initiation and later began the use of what you call cards bearing these visualizations representations. Question 88.22 Questioner, were the court arcana and the minor arcana a portion of Ra's teachings or was this something that came along later? Answer, I am Ra. Those cards of which you speak were the product of the influence of those of Chaldo and Summer. Question 88.23.
Questioner, you mentioned earlier that the Tarot was a method of divination. Would you explain that? Answer, I am Ra. We must first divorce the Tarot as a method of divination from this major arcana as representative of twenty-two archetypes of the archetypical mind. The value of that which you call astrology is significant when used by those initiated entities which understand, if you will pardon the misnomer, the sometimes intricate considerations of the law of confusion. As each planetary influence enters the energy web of your sphere those upon the sphere are moved much as the moon which moves about your sphere moves the waters upon your deeps. Your own nature is water in that you as mind, body, spirit complexes are easily impressed and moved. Indeed, this is the very forbidden nature of your journey and vigil in this density, to not only be moved but to instruct yourself as to the preferred manner of your movement in mind, body and spirit. Therefore, as each entity enters the planetary energy web each entity experiences two major planetary influxes, that of the conception, which is to do with the physical, yellow ray manifestation of the incarnation, and that of the moment you call the birth when the breath is first drawn into the body complex of chemical yellow ray. Thus those who know the stars and their configurations and influences are able to see a rather broadly drawn map of the country through which an entity has travelled, is travelling, or may be expected to travel, be it upon the physical, the mental, or the spiritual level. Such an entity will have developed abilities of the initiate which are normally known among your peoples as psychic or paranormal. When the archetypes are shuffled into the mix of astrologically oriented cards which form the so-called court arcana and minor arcana these archetypes become magnetized to the psychic impressions of the one working with the cards, and thusly become instruments of a linkage between the practitioner of the astrological determinations and divinations and the one requesting information. Oft times such archetypical representations will appear in such a manner as to have seemingly interesting results, meaningful in configuration to the questioner. In and of themselves, the major arcana have no rightful place in divination but, rather, are tools for the further knowledge of the self by the self for the purpose of entering a more profoundly, acutely realized present moment. Question 88.24 Questioner, Ra must have had, shall we say, a lesson plan or course of training for the twenty-two archetypes to be given either to those of third density of Ra or, later on, to those in Egypt. Could you describe this scenario for the training course? Answer, I am Ra. This shall be the last full query of this working. We find it more nearly appropriate to discuss our plans in acquainting initiates upon your own planet with this particular version of the archetypes of the archetypical mind. Our first stage was the presentation of the images, one after the other, in the following order, 1, 8, 15, 2, 9, 16, 3, 10, 17, 4, 11, 18, 5, 12, 19, 6, 13, 20, 7, 14, 21, 22. In this way the fundamental relationships between mind, body and spirit could begin to be discovered, for as one sees, for instance, the matrix of the mind in comparison to the matrices of body and spirit one may draw certain tentative conclusions. When, at length, the student had mastered these visualizations and had considered each of the seven classifications of archetype, Looking at the relationships between mind, body and spirit we then suggested consideration of archetypes in pairs, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 and 7. You may continue in this form for the body and spirit archetypes. You will note that the consideration of the significator was left unpaired, for the significator shall be paired with archetype 22. At the end of this line of inquiry the student was beginning to grasp more and more deeply the qualities and resonances of each archetype. At this point, using various other aids to spiritual evolution, we encourage the initiate to learn to become each archetype and, most importantly, to know as best as possible within your illusion when the adoption of the archetype's persona would be spiritually or metaphysically helpful. As you can see, much work was done creatively by each initiate. We have no dogma to offer. Each perceives that which is needful and helpful to the self. May we ask if there are any brief queries before we leave this working? Question 88.25 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to improve the contact or to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. 
we, again, warned you concerning the distortions of the instrument's hands. The fourth density influence upon them could be inconvenient in that, if allowed to proceed without abatement, what you call your surgery shall be almost immediately necessary. The alignments are good. You have been fastidious. We leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing merrily in the power and in the glorious peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.